My name is Elise. I'm a student in the Michigan Tech Cloud Physics Research Lab because I've always loved snow. Did you know that snowflakes form into different shapes depending on what temperature it is and how humid the air is? And they're all beautiful. Also, did you know that frozen clouds with ice in them reflect sunlight differently than warm clouds? Let me ask you, if the temperature outside drops below zero degrees Celsius, what do you think of? Freezing. But guess what? Water doesn't always freeze when the temperature hits zero. It could, but usually it doesn't. When it comes to researching frozen clouds and snow, it's really important to know that water stays liquid even below zero degrees when it could be ice. That's called supercooled water. In the atmosphere, water droplets usually reach temperatures of minus 10 to minus 35 degrees below zero before they finally turn into ice. Here's some videos I took in the physics lab. You might have seen this water bottle trick before. This water is colder than zero degrees, but it's still a liquid. For some reason, if you hit the bottle, it decides to freeze. Well, scientists don't fully know why that happens, or why this happens, or this. The same goes for cloud droplets. You have droplets in clouds that are super cooled liquid. Something happens to them, and they decide to freeze. The goal of my research project is to try to figure out the fundamental physics behind what is causing the water to freeze. In order to really zoom in on what's happening, I use computer simulations. Each sphere represents a water molecule, and as the simulation gets colder and colder, you can watch the water turn into ice. With the computer simulation, I can set up different scenarios that we hypothesize could freeze the water. Then we watch what happens and figure out if it freezes and why. And of course, Michigan Tech is a perfect place to research ice and snow.